लेक्चर वीडियो इज अबाउट स्ट्रक्चर एंड रिएटिविटी ऑफ कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इज एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज हेयर वी नो दैट द कार्बन ऑक्सीजन विल फॉर्म ए डबल बॉन्ड सो इट इज एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज बॉन्ड्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स कार्बन ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड एंड कार्बन हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड कार्बन ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड इज फर्दर डिवाइड इंटू टू कैटेगरीज वन इज द कार्बन ऑक्सीजन सिगमा बॉन्ड द कार्बन ऑक्सीजन सिगमा बॉन्ड दैट इज फॉर्म बाय द linear overlapping of sp2 hybrid orbital of carbon with sp2 hybrid orbital of oxygen so that is the linear overlapping of sp2 and sp2 both while the second category is carbon oxygen pi bond the carbon oxygen pi bond is formed by the parallel overlapping of the unhybridized p orbital so here these both are the unhybridized p orbital when they will overlap it will produce a pi bond so it is formed by the p orbital of carbon atom and it will parallel overlap with the p orbital unhybridized p orbital of oxygen atom second type is carbon hydrogen bond carbon hydrogen bond is usually present in uh, aldehydes that is formed by the sp2 hybrid orbital of carbon with एस पी एस ऑर्बिटाल फ्राम हाइड्रोजन सो हेयर इज ए लीनियर ओवरलैपिंग ऑफ कार्बन दैट हैज हाइबर्ट ऑर्बिटाल एंड हाइड्रोजन दैट हैज ओनली एस ऑर्बिटाल जोमेट्री इज ट्राइगोनल प्लेनर बॉन्ड एंगल इज वन ट्वेंटी पीकोमीटर सॉरी बॉन्ड लेंथ इज वन ट्वेंटी पीकोमीटर एंड द बॉन्ड एंगल इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री while slight deviation is observed depending upon the nature of the atom or group that are attached to the carbon in various aldehydes and ketone usually the uh, bond angle is approximately equal to 120 but there are some slight deviation due to the bulky or lighter groups reactivity of carbonyl group reactivity of carbonyl group is because of the two reason one is the polarization of the carbonyl group that is the carbon oxygen bond the carbon oxygen bond become polarized so it will affect the reactivity of the carbonyl group second is the nucleophilic addition whether it is easy addition or difficult addition first is the polarization of the carbon oxygen double bond the reactivity of the carbonyl group arises from the high electronegativity of the oxygen atom and the resulting polarization of the oxygen carbon double bond so if you look at this structure there is a carbonyl group here this bond is polarized because the oxygen has high electronegativity value as compared to carbon so the electron pi electron that are shared between these two atoms are shifted slightly towards the oxygen so this bond become polarized now it will affect the reactivity of the carbonyl group so it will gain the partial positive or partial negative by the oxygen this will become the nucleophilic part of the carbonyl group while the second part the carbon that is the electrophilic part of the carbonyl group the electrophilic part is susceptible to the nucleophilic attack so nucleophile can easily attack on the electrophilic part of the carbonyl group that has positive charge nucleophile mean nucleus loving positive charge loving so it will attract it towards the carbon having positive charge nucleophilic addition here is the structure of carbonyl group and here are some features given for this structure it is sp2 hybridized this structure is sp2 hybridized it is trigonal planar it is present in the same plane carbon oxygen and both the alkyl or hydrogen or alkyl group are present in the same plane so it is trigonal planar it is relatively unhindered there is less hindrance because more susceptible for attack by a nucleophile from either side of the double bond nucleophile can attack from the either side of the double bond 
so either it is attack from the uh, downward side or it is attack from the upward side or we, we can say that both the sides are open for the attack by the nucleophile so it is more susceptible for attack by a nucleophile from either side of the double bond when the nucleophile attack on the carbonyl carbon atom it will produce a product that product has some features the sp2 hybridized carbon is shifted to sp3 hybridized here it is sp3 uh, while in carbonyl carbon it is sp2 hybridized also the geometry is changes from trigonal planar in carbonyl carbon while it is converted to tetrahedral in the resulting product nucleophilic addition can be done through two methods acid catalyzed nucleophilic addition and base catalyzed nucleophilic addition first one is the acid catalyzed addition reaction because of the unshared electron pair on oxygen atom we know that oxygen atom has unshared electron pair carbonyl oxygen act as a lewis base lewis base is that species which can donate the electron or which can which can accept the proton and can be protonated so it can be protonated due to the electron pair present on its structure acid can catalyze the addition of weak nucleophile to carbonyl compound by protonating the carbonyl oxygen atom so first we will protonate the carbonyl oxygen atom so this oxygen atom will gain the proton and it become protonated and it will form oxonium ion so here it is oxonium ion oxonium ion is that structure in which oxygen has formed three bond or it will have positive charge this increase the nucleophilic nature of the carbonyl carbon by inducing more positive charge on it so it will have some resonance structure and it is shifted to the second resonance form in which the carbon has positive charge now here the oxygen form two bonds so the positive charge is shifted to the carbon atom now it has positive charge this carbon this carbonyl carbon is available or it is easily attacked by a nucleophile so it will inducing more positive charge on it so here it is given and thus enhances its ability to be attacked by weak nucleophile to form addition product now it will be attacked by a nucleophile and it will produce a product here the this bond will break and it will release the h ion which means that it is acid catalyzed reaction so the acid will recover at the end of a reaction addition of water alcohol ammonia and amines etc generally follow this type of mechanism acid catalyzed addition reaction second type is base catalyzed addition reaction a base catalyzed nucleophilic addition reaction will takes place in the presence of strong base that is usually a conjugate base of the reagent that is used for a nucleophilic addition reaction so we will use a reagent and that reagent will be a conjugate base that will act as a strong base so the base which is also a nucleophile attack on the carbonyl carbon so the base or the nucleophile will attack on the carbonyl carbon atom and the pi electron that is shared between the carbon and oxygen it is shifted or it will move towards the oxygen atom why it is moving towards the oxygen atom it can be easily accommodated by the negative uh, charge oxygen atom because of its high electronegativity so the oxygen has high electronegativity so it can easily accommodate the negative charge or the pi electrons so it will form alkoxide ion the negative charge will be on oxygen the reaction is completed by the absorption of protons so the reaction will be completed so this bond will break and the 
proton is absorbed by the negative charge oxygen and it will form a final product and the nucleophile which act as a base is released at the end of a reaction so it is a base catalyzed reaction because the base is released at the end of a reaction or base is recovered at the end of a reaction addition of hydrogen cyanide in the presence of cyanide base will follow this type of mechanism